here we are at the Dragon's Den. What a interesting name for a hotel, I guess. Here's the truck sitting here. We're going to wait until tomorrow so we can get a heater. I'm not driving again with this thing in the cold. Albeit it's not too bad today. It's about seven below. Makes the snow squeak, but when the snow's running, it's a lot warmer. I think I'll take a walk. I got a little convenience store over there, and I need an ice scraper for my windshield, so I'll go get one. Here's the main drag through town. Must be the grocery store over there, the superfoods. Hey, it's not a metropolis, but it sure feels like one when you're driving through the hinterlands here in Canada. We're walking over to Hogan's Department Store. I guess it's Hogan's or Hogan's. And I was in here yesterday, and I happened to notice that they appear to have all winter outerwear, 40% off. I figure if I'm going to continue on back to Anchorage, I'm going to find some warmer clothes in case I go through this again. Hmm. We'll see. What do you think? Styling now. Hmm. I'm probably a size bigger than this, unfortunately. No fat jokes. Hmm. This one's comfy. Got a nice feel to it. It's less standout-ish than that other one. I'm about to sit on it. Still gonna be better than what I've been wearing. Okay, no fat jokes. I told you, no fat jokes. Hmm. I don't care what this one looks like. It's $669. I'm not buying it. Mm -mm. Hmm. Well, this one is warm. But for $669... It might be just a little out of the reach of us humans. Columbia. Good stuff. Doesn't feel as warm as the other stuff does. But the fit is better. This one fits snugly. Hey, look at there. It's camouflage. I'm part and I invisible. <laughs> what do you think, eh? Fat boy pants, just what I need. Check this out. Now, that is a mitten. It's got fingers in it. Humming, humming, all we need is an electric wires in there and we could heat it right up. Check it out. What every good bank robber needs. The brand is Bugaboo. I see why. Yeah, it's muscular. I think so, yeah. <laughs> what do you think? It looks like you're coming to rob me. <laughs> this is what all the girls are wearing in Paris this year. Well, looks good, though. 
I like that. That's, I'll be warm enough this way. Yeah, that's the one that, uh, that's the coat you decided on? Yeah, I'm going to have to use it. It's a little bit small, but I can live with it. It's not, how about across the shoulders? It's great across the shoulders. I think that's the most. Go ahead and turn it off now. There we go. 258 and 51 cents Canadian. But it should come out 20% less than that once it gets across the border. Seems like a lot, but wouldn't have seemed like much yesterday. As long as I got all these great new clothes, might as well go out and be a tourist in the sub-freezing Watson Lake area. You can come along if you want. Alrighty then. All dressed up in my bright green fuzzy coat and bunny boots and fat boy pants and heavy duty mittens and new wool socks. Ready to go look around Watson Lake. Here we go. The temperature is a balmy four degrees below zero Fahrenheit. And that is tropical compared to the 31 below it was yesterday when I was plum miserable. Here comes a truck coming in here. That would have been the truck to send my equipment to the south on. Hogan's department store. We're gonna walk on down that way. Okay, even at four or two four below, the mask is gonna be more comfortable. Looks a little goofy. Doesn't feel bad though. Look at here. Northern Lights Center at Watson Lake, Space and Science Center, special video gaming special, Sunday 1 to 5. For info, call 536-STAR. Hmm, we'll have to check and see what they got going on tonight. Maybe I've found my entertainment for the night. I wish this hood would stay up where I want it. Gotta say, it is more comfortable out here. I want to go over there, walk around that place. All kinds of road signs. That's an AE lock. They call this the signpost forest. They got a lot of signposts out there. Lordy, lordy, there is a lot of stinking signs in this place. I don't know if it's actually for sale or not, but how would you tell? How would you know? I'm liable to fall on my ass out here. A vehicle or something down in that shed looks like. Hey, if anybody's missing a sign around your town, I think I know where it might have went. Snow's deep here. Went clear up to my waist a couple of times now. Hopefully it's shallower down in the bottom here. Yep, it's an old fire engine. But wow, look at all these signs. There must be a powerful lot of sign thieves around, even on the backside of everything.